So what do you think? Ready to take on the world? Ready for action? Dark. I've never seen you clearer than that. We're flying high. Floating somewhere up in the clouds. So it's been a while since I posted anything on YouTube. It's all been a bit crazy with this whole COVID thing, but luckily Mauritius seems to have pretty much beaten it. So no handshakes and our trips to the supermarket now include mask wearing, perspex barriers, temperature checks and hand sanitizer. But the good news is the sanitary curfew is over. Schools are back, most people are back at work, um, shopping malls are open again and casinos and gyms. So yeah, island life is slowly but surely waking up. But the weirdest thing for me is how quiet it is. I mean, look at this beach, if you can see. When you come to the beach, it's lovely because when there's no one around like this, uh, I don't have to wear a mask, so that's great. But yeah, economically, obviously, things are tough. Boarded up shops are commonplace here, as are empty restaurants and car parks at public beaches are completely devoid of people. This is what life has become here. I spoke to a lady who's been selling fruit here for the last 11 years. And um, she said that she doesn't come at all now during the week because there are just simply no tourists around. Um, it's a bit scary because this is usually the prime time of the year for the kite surfing season. You always have to be caring and nice to everybody because some people don't have as much as you do and you don't realise it. So you always have to be grateful for what you have. We've been buying fruit here for years and now with this economic downturn, supporting locals and small businesses is even more important. Lots and lots of kite surfers come from all over the world, usually at this time of the year, to kite surf. So yeah, it's a bit weird for me to be sitting on this beach and, well, there's no one around. Take a look. Over it. Found some people on the beach. Hello, Boo. Getting rained upon, so I'm dashing under this little umbrella. With hotel occupancy at record lows, places like the Lux are really battling to survive. The lack of tourists is certainly not helping with jewellery sales here either. You've been doing this a long time, huh? Making yes, I have made it uh, 12 years here. And uh, it must be a bit tough at the moment. This is a more tough time in my life. Four months we don't work and we don't have nothing now. Normally at this time of the year there's, what, uh, Normally 300 this people on the beach? Normally this time is a good time Packed. to work. It's, it's good time, but this year is not good. Yes. Well, we hope the borders can open soon and... Uh, is, I, you know, we want the border open, but if the border open and we we, come, we have second lockdown, we don't want. It's better we wait. Lockdown is not a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> difficult, very difficult. It's a very good, difficult thing. Back to more positive things, newfound freedom is precious. But look at this, isn't this wonderful? Able to come back to the beach, for me, this is magic. I'm able to surf again because my knee is healing up really well. And uh, yeah, it's just been a really good time of late to just enjoy the island with all the locals who live here. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun.
side by side our fears are done. You don't have to walk far along the beach to bump into tourists who have also been affected by this pandemic. It's a harsh life, huh? Ah, life is Someone's got to do it, huh? I mean, geez, you, you, you chose a good place to be stuck, <laughs> I have to say. Yes, so. of course, yeah. I'm actually sitting next to a man, Horacio, from Mexico, who has been here now for how many months? Three months and um, almost two weeks. Three, Three months, months and two weeks. So he was stranded here. He was here supposedly for five days and he's still here. Well, you know, I came here for a training uh, uh, two spas uh, in Mauritius and then I was supposed to go to Nigeria. But, you know, uh, COVID came, the shutdown March 19, and there was no way I could go back home. So at the beginning it was a little bit stressful, you know, when I'm going to be back home. But, you know, the more I get to know about Mauritius, um, I just love this place more and more and more. Coco! This has been one of the best three months of, of my life, you know, even though there's not a lot of money, um, there's no work, uh, but, you know, I receive help from so many people. What has made it so comfortable for you here? Yeah. Being in nature, you know, walking out of your hotel and you're in a beautiful beach, you know, uh, untouched, jungle, nature, you know, that's amazing, you know, as I said, I'm a, a nature person, and then I see so much opportunity in Mauritius that, you know, that I'm thinking now that I want to live six months in Mauritius and six months in Mexico, you know, that, is that, that happy I am here. Coco! Is this a COVID dog? <laughs> this is Coco. <laughs> This is COVID. <laughs> this is my home for now. For a few months, I hope. So for Horacio, this has been a, well, it's been a life-changing Yeah, I, I can say exactly, you know, tough at moments, but you know, I wouldn't change these three months in my life for nothing. Thank you so much for your time, huh? Yes, yes. Awesome. I hope we do this again and again and again. strange year it's been so far and as Covid continues its stranglehold on the world, now more than ever I feel like I need to appreciate the beauty of Mauritius. I really do hope you enjoyed my little update for you on island life. Let's hope this COVID thing, uh, well, can get better for all of us very soon. And I will catch you in a couple of weeks. Oh, the sun's coming. Get ready. Things have kind of got back. Let me redo that again. And um, yeah, we're just trying our best to get back to some, some form of island life, how we knew it before, but with some changes, if that makes any sense. And we're about to get rained upon. In fact, we are getting rained upon. Oh, nice sunshine. Oh, I love that. I can't really talk, can I?